I cannot believe another month is here and gone. Uh, today is the last day of May, and that means month end money pulse check time. By now, you guys should know the drill on how this goes. Um, but basically, at the end of every month, I share how to pulse check your finances from the previous month so you can move forward into the next month with the best budget possible. And then I also share my results because I got to be on a budget too. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much or how little money you make, you always need a budget and you always need to make sure you are on the right track. And that goes for anyone, including myself. So I am happy to do this pulse check every month. I am sharing a presentation, so I apologize in advance if I don't see your comments, but um, let's dive right in and I will address any questions after the presentation. So I want to do slideshow so it's nice and pretty. Okay. All right, so this is your May month and money pulse check, and I'm going to start with what it takes to actually complete your pulse check at the end of every month. It all starts and ends with three key elements, and the first one is your budget. So you want to look at the budget that you set for the beginning of the month or for May in general, and you want to ask yourself the following questions to really pinpoint if you followed your budget or if you need to make changes for June. So first and foremost, what happened that was supposed to? So what areas did I expect to come up financially and I took care of them? Was I um, perfectly right on budget in any particular category? What happened that was supposed to happen and I can check that off and mark it as a success? Then you want to think about what unexpected expenses came up that you didn't account for at the beginning of the month. And this is pretty common. I know there were a lot of graduations and even Mother's Day was in the mix, although that's something we probably should plan for, but things come up all the time. So what unexpected expenses came up and will you need to factor those expenses into your budget for June? And then what needs to be changed for June? So when it came to your budget, was there any particular area or category that you were extremely over or under in or those unexpected expenses, are they now going to be recurring that we need to make sure we include in June's budget? So these are all things you wanna ask yourself as you're looking at the budget you set for May and as you move forward with setting your budget for June. Okay. The second key element to complete your month end money pulse check is your spending. So this should come as no surprise to you. I say it all the time. I will continue to say it as a reminder, but you should be tracking your spending throughout the month. So you should know exactly what your limits are because you set them in your budget at the beginning of the month, but you should be taking it a step further to make sure you're actually following your budget to make sure you're staying on track and on par and on course with the limits that you set in your budget. So you should have your spending handy, whether you track in an Excel or write it down or review your statements in an app, whatever the case may be, you should have your spending handy. And then you want to ask yourself the following questions. What areas did I over or underspend in? and why. So we already looked at the budget, so you already know what your limits were for the particular month of May, but what areas did you excel in, meaning you were under budget, or uh, not necessarily do so well with, meaning you were over budget? So if it was going out to eat or maybe shopping and entertainment because of all the graduations, um, think about those particular areas and how it will impact you for June. Was it just a one-time thing that you don't expect to come up again? Okay, great. Maybe we won't worry about factoring it into June, um, but really get to the why behind why you were over underspending and how you can use that information um, when you create your June budget. 
Next, you wanna ask yourself what areas may be higher for June. So maybe you have a vacation coming up in June, or maybe your student loan payment starts, or um, maybe it's your mom's birthday. Whatever the case may be, think about what could be coming up in June. Granted, we can't plan for everything, we can't account for everything, but we can do our best to um, try to predict as much as possible so we're financially prepared. So ask yourself what spending areas may be higher for June and make sure you account for that in your budget. And then lastly, ask yourself, what can I do differently to stay in budget? So any area that you overspent in, and you already know why because you already asked yourself, but what can you do to make sure that doesn't happen? So for example, if you bought you know, ice lattes multiple times a week and that contributed you, to you overspending in your food or going out category, well maybe you can brew your own iced coffee at home and make your own lattes. You know, you just wanna think about how you can improve because it's always going to be a learning and growing process. So never stop wondering what you can do differently to make your situation better, but it all starts with knowing exactly where you stand in the present. Okay, and then the final key element you need to complete your month-end money pulse check is your goals. So now you wanna review the goals that you had set for May or that you were working towards in May. And then you wanna ask yourself the following questions. Did I make the appropriate progress this month? So if one of your goals was to save an extra $100, well, did you save that extra 100 or did you um, save 50 and you plan on saving 50 next month? You wanna think about what progress you actually made towards your goals in the month that we're in. And then think about if you're on track. So if your goal was to save 100 for May but you only saved 50, you're not necessarily on track, but you can make it up in June. If it's a much bigger savings goal or paying down debt goal or whatever the case may be, and you realize that you're not on track, you're gonna have to adjust your budget in certain areas moving forward so you can make up for lost progress. So make sure you ask yourself, what needs to change to help me reach my goals? If that means no going out to eat for June or skipping out on a girl's trip to the beach or whatever the case may be, really think about how you can, like I said, make up for that lost progress and get yourself back on track. Okay, so just a quick recap to complete your month and money pulse check. You need your budget, you need your spending, you need your goals, and you need to ask yourself the right questions so that you can move forward into June or whatever month we're going into accordingly. So now that that's taken care of, let's talk about my May month and pulse check results. So I'm gonna start with the wins because I'm positive. I wanna focus on the positive. Um, I will say that this month, May month, was my best month in fun and food spending. I didn't include food, but in fun and food spending for the entire year. This is my best month of 2018. And honestly, I think that's because in the City Girl Savings Facebook group, we all had this, um, informal arrangement to complete a no spend challenge. And I wasn't 100% perfect, not going to lie, but I did better than I've done the entire year. So in my eyes, that's progress, that's amazing. And I'm gonna continue that into June. And I encourage you, like, even if you've had slip ups in the month, uh, move forward. You know, we all make mistakes, but it doesn't mean we can't get back on track. So. Join in with me, I'm continuing this into June. Um, another win was I saved 100 more than I planned, so I budget out my savings and what I expect to save throughout the month, but since I use um, Digit, the Digit app, as you guys should know, I also uh, leverage the keep the change transfer from my bank, so anytime you use your debit card or whatever the case may be, they transfer the change or the difference or a dollar or something like that to your savings account. So I was 
I was able to save a hundred more than planned leveraging those resources. And my last one was I was $400 under budget for the month, which is awesome. You know, the goal is to at minimum break even, but if you can try to spend less than what you make so you have a profit and as you continue to do that month over month that profit is just going to equal more and more money in savings or more money that can go to your debt payments or whatever the case may be to help your situation so it's good to live within your means but it's even better to live under your means okay now moving forward to opportunities as I mentioned, I was not 100% perfect with the no spend challenge. Nobody's perfect, that's okay, but I will continue that challenge moving into June. Um, and then I also I found an opportunity for myself to think through the best strategy for my credit card usage. I have quite a few credit cards and each of them offers different rewards. So I really want to get clear about if my goal is to travel in the next year, maybe I leverage a card that offers travel benefits. Or if I decide I don't want to travel in the next year and I just want to build up my savings, maybe I leverage a keep the change credit card. So I haven't thought about that strategy yet, but that's one of my opportunities moving into June. And then lastly, my goals. Um, as I mentioned, I, I budget out my savings, so I know exactly how much should be going towards my goals every month, and anything on top of that is just extra. But I saved as planned for my new house, my new car, and my second home in Palm Springs, so I'm right on track with where I need to be, which is very exciting. And that's pretty much my, my progress for May. So we went through exactly what you need to complete your month and uh, money pulse check. We went through my pulse check results. And now I'm going to leave you on your way to complete your own if you haven't already. And then get ready for June 1st, which will be here in a few short hours. So thanks for joining in and watching. Like I said, I'm, I can't see comments, but I will check them out after I wrap up. So I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.